Alright, here's the update on the Colt railgun. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing fixed up and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So we've got the Wilson Combat um, shock buff system here that we're going to go ahead and install in this 1911. If you watched the other video, uh, you will know that we had a failure of the firing pin uh, return spring. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing apart and uh, do a few things. Ideally, I mean, you could just swap in a new uh, return spring and make plenty of different high power springs, but we're going to go ahead and do a little bit extra. Um, there are a couple different versions of the shock buff kit. The one that we have here uh, is the two, or sorry, the three spring kit with a full length guide rod. So uh, you can see here we have our firing pin return spring, our little recoil buffers, and then we have two different weights of spring to play with. The factory recoil spring on a Colt 1911 is uh, 16 pounds, and Wilson gives you a 10 pound and an 18 pound. So we're going to install the 18 pound. The 10 pound um, is really good for uh, reloading and shooting some specialty reloads, you know, shooting some light stuff for competition and whatnot. So we're not going to touch that one. This is the spring that we're going to be using here. So let's go ahead and break this thing down. Um, it is pretty easy to do. There we go. All right. The gun has been just field stripped and cleaned prior to this. There's our old guide rod next to our new one. Now you don't have to use this. You can use these little buffers with the uh, the old one, and they're okay. They have a little bit of wiggle room, but but whatever. Let's go ahead and take apart the slide. Let me make sure the camera is going to get all of this here. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we need to depress the uh, safety plunger here, then push in the firing pin from the back and lift up. That will let the firing pin shoot out the back. We can pull off this backing plate. And then after that, uh, if you want to remove the little safety, you can. You can also pull out the extractor at that point. Um, but we're going to leave that alone. I've already cleaned the firing pin channel in here, so we know we don't have any issues there. I already also uh, checked the firing pin for burrs, um, and it's in good shape. Let's take a look at the... <laughs> the new spring versus the old one. Kind of crazy. So here is the Colt spring that has come apart and collapsed a little bit. And then you have the new Wilson Combat spring. So quite a big difference. Now let me show you. These should just go on one way. That's the wrong way. This is the right way. So the right way is actually having to press the spring on there and it won't come back off. So... There is our firing pin and new spring. Put it in from the rear by depressing the safety plunger here. Oops. We should be able to uh, keep it retained just a hair and then install this plate back here. Uh, if you get the plate out and you forget which way it goes, the flat face goes towards the uh, muzzle of the gun and the side that has these uh, this little cut here and the cuts on the side goes towards the back of the gun. This is a, can be a part where you kind of need three hands um, but if you can get that safety there to hold the firing pin in for a minute you can push it all the way in like that and then slide this guy in from the top or from the bottom I mean okay so you're gonna kinda of put pressure on this while you remove whatever you're using to depress that in the back and then uh, you need to kind of give it a little bit of a tap so the firing pin can uh, come back to where it's supposed to be right there so now you can go ahead and check for function. The firing pin should not go all the way forward, which it does not, unless you depress the safety plunger. 
there we go. So that is it. If you're replacing the firing pin return spring, that's all you got to do. It is pretty easy. I'll zoom the camera back out here for the uh, shock buff kit installation. This is going to be very simple. Here's our guide rod, here's our spring, and then here's our new uh, little dude right there. Now the dual recoil spring system, I'm almost positive, is still only 16 pounds. Um, each of these springs is less than 16 pounds, and they kind of add up to 16 total, which is what I think, and I'm not 100% sure on that. I know the reason why this was introduced is because the original recoil spring, single spring system for the Colt 1911 was good for 5,000 rounds, or so they say, and this system is supposed to be good for 15,000. Now, I don't think that's true in either case, uh, but that's what it was developed for. So now what we can do here is go ahead and take off one of these little dudes. These are supposed to be good for uh, at least a thousand rounds. And none, I mean, these things are proven, they actually do work well, and they do make a difference in the gun. So we'll just slide it on there, have that match, and then when we uh, install this section, there are two sides to the spring. There's one side where the spring is pretty much flat, and you have that second coil touching there, and then this side right here is more open. So uh, the flat side is going to go in. Uh, this direction like this push it so it snaps over and it won't come off and then this side is going to go right inside there all right we'll go ahead and pull the spring off for the installation slide the recoil guide rod in place and we can put the spring uh, back in that way it'll kind of keep everything aligned and keep pressure where we want it. And slide it onto the gun. Notice that the uh, little plunger here on the takedown lever kind of a pain on this gun. It kind of extends a little bit too far. Uh, but anyway, so there we go. We can probably put this bushing in. Let's see. I'll try to put it in without removing the spring, but I don't know if I can. Nah, we'll go ahead and remove the spring. Definitely extra powered. Let's see if I can do this without the tool. I may need it. Yeah, it's easier just to use the tool. All right, feels good. That is pretty much it. So it's a very simple install with the uh, full length guide rod. These really do come in handy. You can do it without it, but. Um, that is pretty much it. So we'll go shoot this thing and uh, see how it performs and goes from there. You notice I didn't oil this gun. I'm going to take it back apart and oil it before we go shoot it. But that's it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.